Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're taking a look at the GameSir F8 Pro Snowgon Mobile Cooling Grip, a grip designed to keep your phone cool. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, GameSir provided the F8 Pro Snowgon for a fair and honest review, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. The whole purpose behind this phone clip is to keep your phone cool during intense gaming sessions. Heat is one of the big killers of your gaming experience. Your battery heats up, it drains faster, your CPU heats up, and your performance is throttled. This aims to counteract that. Taking a look inside the box here, there's some GameSir stickers, a warranty card, and a user manual. The user manual is really simple and straightforward, and that's because this device is also simple and straightforward. There's also an included USB-C cable. Last up in the box is probably the most important piece, the F8 clip. On the top, we can see that GameSir logo. Taking a closer look at the back here, and you can see the fan that cools the device. It has a built-in kickstand if you wanted to use your phone that way. And there's also a detachable thumbstick. It fits over where your motion controls are. No software is necessary for this to work. The thumbstick literally just flips over your phone and that's about it. There's also a slider to adjust the position. The grip does expand to accommodate different sizes of phones. It expands up to seven inches. It is worth noting that this F8 clip requires power in order to work. There is no battery in it. If you try to turn it on, it's not going to work. If you try to charge it, it's not going to charge. For the power on this device, it requires requires 5 volt and 2 amp, and I was able to power this with a portable battery. Operation of this is really simple, you just power it on. There is a fan with LEDs, the LEDs do change colors. I turned some of the lights off here just to give you an idea of how bright the LEDs are. They're not overpoweringly bright, but they do shine pretty good. The front that touches your phone is made of a rubber, and it cools down very quickly. I was actually surprised with how cold this got. If you think that this clip just has a fan to cool your device, you'd be sorely mistaken. There's a lot going on here. Now to test out how effective the F8 Pro was at cooling my phone, I don't own a fancy thermometer. I did have to use an app and I use CPU monitor. I don't know how accurate it is, so you might wanna take these numbers with a grain of salt. I can confidently say my phone felt a lot cooler. It was noticeably colder. So when I was gaming, I was playing Dolphin Emulator. It's a GameCube emulator. It does stress my phone a little bit. Stock, my CPU was at 40 degrees, my battery was at 38. Using the F8 Pro, there was a 12 degree drop overall. The CPU is now at 28 with the battery at 26. That is a really big drop. At idle here, just to see how things were going as well. My CPU was at 33, just stock with the battery at 28. Using the F8 Pro, there was a nine degree drop on the CPU, bringing it down to 24. And the battery, well, we have a six degree drop there, bringing it down to 22. These are really impressive numbers. Since the F8 Pro does have a fan, it's not a silent device. They have tried to make it quieter, but you can still hear it. And if you don't have the proper power going to the device, maybe it's a little bit lower powered of an adapter you're using, you can also hear a difference in that as well. So I'm gonna show you two different sound tests. I'll show you with proper power and I'll show you it when it doesn't get enough power. In terms of cooling effectiveness, the F8 Pro does work the best when you take the case off your phone. You can keep the case on and it does work that way. I tried it both ways and my phone did cool down with the F8 Pro. I didn't really want to record temperatures for this because it will vary based on the case you have. There are a ton of different cases out there. If you have something thick like an OtterBox, well this probably won't be as effective because your phone's very insulated. If you have something very thin, like a thin little TPU case, then this will work a lot better with it. So let's get into what I liked and what I didn't like about the F8 Pro, and we'll start out with what I didn't like. First and foremost, I actually didn't really like this little joystick. I found it to be a little bit too big. It covered a little bit too much of my screen. If you have a massive screen, then this really won't get in the way. But if you have a smaller screen, like I do on my Pixel 5, this took up quite a bit of room. The second thing I don't like about this device is that there's no way to shut off the LEDs. The LEDs are just on. I would have liked an option just to turn them off if I felt like it. And the very last thing that I don't like about this device are actually the sides of the grips here. 
It is a little bit sharp, a little bit rough where the plastic comes together, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. I wouldn't have minded something a little bit smoother, maybe molded a little bit differently. Moving over to things I liked about this device, and there are a number of things here. With the thumbstick, I said I didn't like it because it was a little bit big. If your phone is larger, then the size of it might not be an issue. And the thumbstick also just completely comes off. You don't have to use it at all. That's a big plus. I like that this does have a built-in kickstand. I couldn't really see myself using it, but at the same time, it's there if I needed it. And there's also a very thoughtful cutout on both sides of the grip here. So if you wanted to charge your phone while you're playing, you can because the cable fits through there. I like the overall build quality of this and the stability of this when my phone is in it. And most importantly here, I like how much this keeps my phone cold. It's noticeable. You put your hand on here and power it up, this immediately gets cold. There is more to this than just a fan. There's a whole cooling unit in here and it is very effective. Now, two things that are worth mentioning that I didn't want to put my likes and dislikes because there's no way around them. Number one, this does require power and that's completely understandable given the fact that this thing cools like a beast. And the second thing here is it completely blocks everything on your phone. So on my Google Pixel, I do have a fingerprint sensor on the back of it and I can't use it with this thing on it, and that's completely understandable. So given the pros and cons of this device, let's take a look at the price to determine whether or not it's worth it. It's currently listed on the GameStar website for $39.99, so 40 bucks. And it's also available on Amazon for the exact same price. At $40 here, some people might find it worth it and some people might not. If you really push your phone, if you emulate a heck of a lot, if you have long gaming sessions, and you might want to look into something like this. This will keep your phone cool, the performance will be good, you don't have to worry about thermal throttling, and you don't have to worry about damaging your phone. But on the other hand here, if you don't have long gaming sessions or you don't really push your phone, then something like this might be a little overkill. At the end of the day here, I think this is a really cool little device and I'm really impressed with how effective it is. A huge thank you goes out to GameSir for providing this for a fair and honest review. But that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the GameSir F8 Pro Snowgon in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.